1998, we were um, at my grandma's house and my mom was there. She had a party for my brother and she was looking good. She had her hair done. She was looking healthy. She was happy and like my mom was finally happy, um, got herself together, threw a party for us and I was just happy to have my mom. I was like, okay, mom's gonna get back together. She's gonna get herself together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I remember my mom pulled me to the bathroom. She was like, come here, I wanna talk to you. I'm like, okay, mom. She was like, are you kissing boys? I'm like, no, mom. I was in middle school. And she was like, okay, well don't kiss boys. That's, that's not good. I'm like, okay, mom. She's like, so what are your goals? Like, what do you wanna do when you grow up? I was like, I wanna be a teacher. I wanna teach science and I wanna go to the Olympics. She said, okay, if those are your goals. Make sure you do whatever you need to do to make sure you reach those goals. She said, if you start something, you better fit. You better finish it. I believe in you. I think you can do anything that you want to do, but never start something and not finish it. Like that's something I remember from her. Like I can remember it clearly when she put me to the side and told me that. Like you start it, you better finish it. You know. And um, a week later, uh, my mom passed away from an overdose of cocaine. Um, I remember we were at home and. Uh, my grandmother got a phone call and she was like, we have to go. And I was like, go where? We went to my aunt's house and she dropped us off and she left. And I remember sitting there, I was like, guys, something's wrong with mom. Mom's not okay. I, I feel it. Destiny, you're overreacting. Don't say that. I'm like, no, I feel something. My grandmother came back and she was like, she's gone. She's gone. I'm like, who's gone? Your mom. And I, I still didn't believe it. I was just like, no way, mom. We saw her a week ago. Mom was doing good. Mom was healthy. Um, and I, it, it didn't hit me until I went to her funeral and I saw my mom uh, laying in her casket and um, I remember sitting down in a chair and I was like that's not my mom like that, that, that can't be her and I remember walking to her casket and I remember touching her and she was so cold and I was like mom wake up mom wake up like you can't be gone. I just saw you a week ago. You were happy. Like, you can't be gone. And I remember, like, just shaking her. And she just wouldn't wake up. And that's why, I, like, I realized my mom was gone. Like, the person that I love. Like, even though she wasn't there, I love my mom. Like, she believed in me. And just to see her lying in a casket, her, her life was gone. And... The last thing I said to her was, I love you, Mom. <laughs> I'm happy I got the chance to say it to, be, say it to her before she passed away. But it was just, it was hard being 12 years old, not having your mom, not having your dad, and there's nothing you can do about it. And I, like, it, I think it kind of clicked to me like, hey, like, your mom is gone. You're the bigger sister. You have to do better for your brother and your sister. Like, you have to be a good role model for them. That's what I got out of that. Right now we are in Hyde Park, which is part of Chicago. This is my first time here. Never been to Chicago ever. Um, so it's kind of exciting to go to like a new city. Um, so I'm here in Chicago with the KIPP School Leadership Program. Um, my One of my goals is to become a school leader, to have my own school. And so this is one of the ways of um, doing that. Um, it's a five week program um, that's intense. Um, like yesterday I was in four role plays, um, being a school leader and addressing my staff of issues that we may have had and um, um, helping teachers who had conflict like resolve it. So it was just this five weeks where I can focus on myself and learn and grow and develop into a better leader. So when I go back to my school in the fall, I can help other teachers, um, empower them to take ownership of their leadership um, and their growth and um, just coach them throughout the year. I've been running since I was nine. I'm gonna be 28. Um, this year, this upcoming year, it, it, it has to be successful because um, I'm not getting any younger. And uh, when you get older, your body starts, you know, not working as it did when you were 21. So this year I will be having a, a coach um, with teammates. Um, and I've already started the process of um, creating my goals for the year, creating my nutrition goals for the year, 
um, like, what, what are my goals learn term? Like, do I just want to go to USA? Outdoor, do I want to go to Worlds? Like, really setting those goals and pushing to reach those goals. Um, I think last year for me was difficult because I'm the type of person that I've always put people ahead of me. Um, I never really just focus on destiny per se. Um, and so last year I had, I was working with like a lot of first year teachers, second year teachers that needed me. Like they needed me to be there for them at school. So sometimes I had to stay late at school and be there for my kids and the teachers where I couldn't go to practice when I needed to go. So I kind of made a lot of sacrifices last year for my kids and teachers that I work with, which is, it's okay. But at the same time, I put destiny to the side and I didn't get to reach my track goals, which makes me sad. Um, but at the same time, I know that my kids and teachers that I work with really appreciate that. Like, I, I wasn't selfish for them. And like, my kids had a great year. Like they left last year happy and like they were proud of us being their teachers. Um, and I think that if I just would have focused on destiny and focused just on track last year, my kids wouldn't have been successful. And sometimes it's more than just worrying about yourself. We have, you have 75 other kids who are dependent on you. You have other teachers that are dependent on you. And I made that sacrifice. And do I regret it? No, I don't. I don't regret it at all. Um, but now it's like, now I gotta figure out a way how to make Destiny happy and also continue to make my kids happy. And that's what I'm gonna do this year. Like, I have to do it. I, 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 I can't continue to keep putting myself on the back burner. All my life I've done that for 27 years and I can't continue to do that anymore. So that's something that I realized, just even being here, like, you gotta make yourself a priority. Like, you, you, you just have to. And um, definitely learned that this summer. <laughs>and I'm staying at a hotel with my family and there's not a track around I have to be very innovative and in finding ways to still get my workouts in um, so whether it's running diagonals running upstairs going to the beach running on the beach you know I have to find just different ways to make sure I get it in so these are called stairs um, stadium stairs and I'm going to show you how to do this
I'm in lane three, like, let's get it. Oh, I'm in lane eight, I'm gonna go ahead and run my heart out. Like, I wanna get back to that point. And I think I'm on the way of getting there. Um, just because I really listened to my body this year and made sure I'm healthy so I can have a successful year. The coach, the coach I'm about to have is going to challenge me. Like, we got lifting at 4.30 in the morning. Like, it's not gonna be a game, and I know that. And I felt like I needed to go into an environment where I have uh, teammates that have the same mindset as me that, that, like, that are hungry for this as well. Like, they want this as bad as I do, and it's being, in that environment with people that, that have the same mindset as me is only gonna push me to get there as well. Um, so I'm just, I'm really excited for this next upcoming year. I hope I make, I will make everyone proud this year. And also I'm gonna surprise myself. The KIP, the KIP, the Skip, KIP School Leadership Program this summer um, is all preparing me to become a school leader eventually. Um, that is one of the other goals that I have for myself. Um, and also this year I'm working on getting my master's, which I'll have next year in spring. So if I continue just talking to people, networking, um, so when I have my own school, um, I have more successes and failures. Because I, I don't want to fail. And I think that if I just do it now, and I'm trying to run track and try to run a business and try to be, all these, it's not going to work. It's, it's, I want to make sure I do it at the right time. So the school that we have, we're serving our kids and giving our all into serving them. I don't want to have to do it. And so just being, yeah, I think after the next Olympics will be the time that I'll be ready to just fully give my all to having a high school. With you.